Leo. Hey, Scott. Good How to you see doing? you, man. Good really to see good. you, man. <laughs> Glad you're in Grenada. Look at this villa. Well, actually, this villa has been a lot of fun. When I bought this, uh, the whole property here, right. I built this. So really? I was involved in the construction. Yeah, oh, you gotta yeah. be kidding me. Yeah. So let's take a look inside. Okay. So um, this this villa is called Carabali. Yeah. So it's in the Caribbean. Uh huh. But it's Balinese style. Very nice. So Does that mean we're, we're taking off our shoes? Yes. There of you course. go. Well, I don't have those fancy socks that you have, but you know, I did get a pedicure a few days ago. I like my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come and let's have a rum punch. There you go. And here we are, oh. just for you. Cheers. Cheers, Scott. Welcome to Caravali. Welcome to Calabash. Wel <laughs> welcome to Grenada. You're the welcoming committee for everybody. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the history of Calabash. Like, how long have you owned this place? I was fortunate to come to Grenada in February 85. I came to buy a rum distillery. Instead, I bought a hotel. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of the house. Indeed. We've got a huge space here. It's 10,000 square feet. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big space. It is. It's really good. You can see that the dining room is there, and this is the, the lounge area. This is a great place for cocktails and getting together. So there's one thing that is really vital when it comes to planning homes, mm -hmm. is the breeze. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we have the houses all facing the bay. So we've got 19 acres up here. But I mean, you have a lot of room here. You could easily triple, if not quadruple, the amount of rooms that you have. Easily. To make more money. Yeah. But money is not the goal. No. That's not the end game for you. Never has been. So this is my space, uh, as well as everybody else who visits sure. it. And um, realistically, when it comes down to it, we want people to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing. There's something else I should mention too as well. Did you know they were the number one luxury hotel in the Caribbean on TripAdvisor? Well, actually, it's the second time round. Wow. Yeah. All of our pools in the villas are all infinity edge. And what we've done as well to make that more interesting is we've put river stones in it. I mean, that floor of the pool, that blew me away. I talked about it for about a half hour when I first got here. I, I, I've never seen that before. Okay, let me show you the master suite. So in good Balinese style, four poster bed, again, making people comfortable. Come and let me show you the bathroom. The bathrooms in here are just gigantic. All marble. Really, really neat. Actually, this, this house, the way it was designed, mm -hmm. It says two bedrooms over here for children mm -hmm. and the master bedroom for the homeowners okay. and over there the grandparents. Oh. So that's clever, isn't that's it? That's really the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So A lot of houses in Asia are designed exactly like that. Right. I love the zen areas that you have all over the property. They're great. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. When it, when it comes down to it, I just feel... I'm so lucky I'm here. You should feel lucky. And I feel lucky that I'm with you. But I mean, the, the stone on this. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this, this, this means that I really like you. I can see that. <laughs> I see. When I get there, let's shake on that. You're gonna pull me I out? Got, I got you, man. I got you, yeah. man. Oh! <laughs> This means I really love you. <laughs> Good to meet you, man. Good to be with you.